Hello everyone. Today we are going to give you the difference between what time and when in English language. People used to mix up these two words, what time and when. We are going to see the difference between them. Try to be with us. We are going to teach you this lesson very well. You are going to get the skills from the lesson. And this lesson is going to help you speak English very better. I am teacher Jasper. We are going to learn this lesson in a very good atmosphere. Let's get started. The difference between what time and when. What is the meaning of what time? What is the meaning of when? That is what we are going to be looking at. Try to be together with us. But before, I would like to give you some announcements. I would like to inform you about different things that I have prepared for you. The first announcement is this one. Try your best to subscribe, my dear friend. Subscribe. Can the could subscribe? That is the first. Second, do you really want to improve your level in English language? Try to study English in a very good way. We have a Zoom class. We have a physical class at Shimiroho. And we have this YouTube channel. The first one is Zoom class. Akakanya tuvuga na hano kuri YouTube dufite amasomo arenga magana tano tumaze gushyiraho 500 lessons of English aya masomo ya gufasha nayo kumenya ururimi third icya gatatu dufite a physical class ishuri riri physical ishuri rifatika riri physical waza hano kimiro mukiga ubyo ubwo no buryo butatu fourth the fourth way that can help you get English is the books. We have the books. Then, don't say that. Yes. Good. Then, the difference between what time and when. We use what time when we are talking about the specific hour or minute. Yotuvuga isaha, specific. When you, we are specific, we use what time? Yotuvugi minota runaka. Yotuvugi saha. Nivgo dukoresha what time? But we use when, ariko dukoresha when, kumisi, weeks, uh, adverbs of time, tomorrow, yesterday, next week, years, months. Kumezi, months, days, misi. Kumyaka, uh, years, imyaka, kuri yesterday, tuje kubire bungu. But never confuse, don't mix up. We, we nuka vanje what time and when. Ucho juza wukoze a very big mistake. That time you are making a very big mistake when you are mixing up what time and when. Good. Then here we are going to see examples of what time. We use what time. What time is usually used for a specific hour and minute? For example, what time do you start the meeting? What time do you start the meeting? That is what time. I want you to be specific. To tell me the time, hour, to tell me hour or minute. Here you will say, we start the meeting at 8 a.m. That is what time. When do you start the meeting? We start the meeting at 8. No. When, what time do you start the meeting? We start the meeting tomorrow. That is simple present, but which shows future. This is the future. We start the meeting tomorrow. But don't say, when do you start the meeting? 
we start the meeting at 8. No, we say what time? Because here we have at specific hour at 8. This at shows the specification. Your specification. What time will you be there? What time will you be there? What time? What time will you be there? I will be there at 11.45 or at a quarter to 12. I will be there at a quarter to 12. A quarter here to 12. What time? Then here. Here, I can say, what time do you start your English class? Mutangira, ishuri rijikyo What time do you start your English class? We start our English class at 6 p.m. We start our English class at 6 p.m. Dutangira, mugjukuri, ishuri rijikyo njereza sangahe, sakumine jiri, zuzui, at 6 p.m. We start our English class at 6 p.m. Nice. Then here, what differs to when? We are going to see how to use when. What differs from when? Luvango, what? Itandukanye na when. When is usually used for days. Tukoresha when itu vuginisi. Weeks. Ijumeru. Months. Amazing. Years. Imyaka. Soon. Vubaha. Next time. Mujie chiri mbere. On Monday. Kuwa mbere. Yesterday. Tomorrow. And so forth. Nibindi, nibindi. That is where we use when. Examples. Injeru. When will you call him? Uza muhamagarari jar. Tago nshaka kumenyi saa. Ndashaka kumenya. Nejo, nejo bundi, na ukwezi butaha, ni chumeru chizaza. Just that is, that is what I want to know. When will you call him? I will call him tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. When? Tomorrow. Next. When did you meet them? Wahuye nabori jari. I met them last year. Nahuye nabo umna kushiz. Last year. When? I met them last year. When did you meet them? When did you meet them? I met them last year. When are you ready? Nijari tayari. I am ready on Monday. Good. That is where we use when. Please, there is a big difference between what time and when in English language. Try to learn this lesson in a better way and you try to create or make your own sentences to better understand it. But before I quit, I have two things to tell you. That are very important. We have a Zoom class. Please, if you want to study in a very good atmosphere, wherever you are, try your best to join us. Duftini shuri ni fizika. Icho nicho na kugira. Ati kimi rongo. Ariko nanone. Ichi nujikome ye nyamukuru chana. Nanone. Books hold a house of gold. Ibi tababuri ya. Yuabji hishemo inzu ya zahabu. We have books. There are different alternatives that you can use. You can explore it. If you want to get English better. Hari uburyo bwinshi wacukumbura cyangwa se wabyaza umusaruro ni ushaka kuvuga icyongereza neza ibitabo ishuri hano kuri YouTube so far we have uploaded more than 500 lessons on YouTube kugeza ubu tumaze gushyira amasomo hafi arenga 1500 kuri YouTube ubwo uje ukiga mu byukuri wazamura level yawe i tell you the truth Try your best to subscribe. Are you a new student? Urumunya Shuri Musha? 
try to subscribe. Gerageza ukande kuri subscribe if you are a new student. Then after getting all these things that I've already told you, we are going to give you the saying of today. Here, in English we say, six plus three equals to nine. So does four plus five. Four plus five equals to nine. Two. This means that the way you do things isn't always the only way to do them. So, respect other people's ways of thinking. Ibi bishatse kuvuga ngo biratwerekaka ko uburyo ukora ibintu runaka, uburyo ukora mu ibintu ntabwo ari buryo ari uburyo bumwe bwo kubikora. Respect other people's ways of thinking. Ubaha uburyo abandi batekerezamo gukora ibintu. Yes, this is a very wonderful saying that can help you. 6 plus 3 equals to 9. So does 4 plus 5. This means that the way you do things isn't always the only way to do them. So, respect other people's ways of thinking. I am teacher Jasper. We are together. Bye-bye.